What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Bangship Garage episode. Uh, today I'm going to make just kind of a short video on how to pressure test your cooling system for essentially free. At least it was free for me. Uh, this assumes that you have a air compressor and an air nozzle because that's really all it takes. So what I've done over here is I have set the regulator on my air compressor to about 8 pounds. That's, that's really all you need. Uh, at least on, on most BMWs the cap is set for about 16 psi. So you definitely don't want to exceed that <clears throat> and risk blowing a hose or something. So I set it on the low side because that's really all you need to find the leak. And then all I've done here is I've taken my air nozzle like this, zip tied this down, and this did have like a, a T in it, a, a barb. Where is it? Well, it's gone. That's fine. But so this had a T in it that just connected these two hoses. So all I've done is taken a bolt, plugged this hose, put this in there and zip tied it down. And, and just like that, the entire system is pressurized. Um, with a BMW, it's pretty easy because they all have, you know, these reservoirs instead of like an overflow tank. So you can just tee it into here, this, you know, little one coming off the radiator. Uh, on something like a Chevy or, you know, with like a classic radiator cap and overflow tank, you can tee it into pretty much anything, whether it's a heater core line. Um, it's got to be a pretty small line. You could go out and spend a couple hundred dollars on a pressure testing system. Uh, I know Matco has a really nice one. I think that's about three or four hundred dollars. And then you have to buy the appropriate fittings to go on whatever car you're using. I think they come with standard stuff maybe for uh, newer model Chevy and Fords, but definitely not any BMWs. So this was a much simpler solution to that. And, you know, obviously if it's a big leak like a radiator hose, you can, you know, spot that pretty easy with your eyes. The leak that I have is probably one of the worst leaks uh, I could possibly have, uh, maybe other than a head gasket, because this one I think I might have a fighting chance. Um, but so I'm going in through the wheel well here. I've got the exhaust manifold removed just to get to it. And you can see where the wind is. Let me clean it off for you. So you can see the small bolt right here. Uh, the other side of that is the timing chain, so there's no coolant behind it. It's not leaking from the bolt. It's actually leaking from You can kind of see it bubbling. It's actually leaking from a small crack that's just in the casting of the cylinder head, um, which is very shitty. Uh, so I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to try to keep grinding it out till I get to the end of the crack, and I'm going to try some JB weld or um, some quick weld epoxy stuff, you know, because what I have to lose, either way, I'd be putting a new head on the car. So check that video out. We'll see if it actually works. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.